Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. I'm very, um, I'm, I'm honestly really happy to to show this game off. This is Sale Forth. Um, this is a basically a solo operation, um, like a solo dev that's been working on this, and uh, key provided by uh, the you know publisher or, or them themselves. But either way, I'm I'm very grateful to uh, give this a go. This is Sale Forth, and uh, it it boasts gameplay much like Wind Waker. So if you're a fan of the uh, of Zelda Wind Waker. Or just uh, sailing in general and uh, exploration, then this will probably be the game for you. I haven't, uh, I haven't played anything. This is like partially blind, but I have looked at a little bit of um, tutorial and, and videos, so I, I know a little bit about what's going on. Uh, be aware and listen well. Unsettled though magnificent is the deep blue. The unseen look forward of all folk now dwindles. Gathered the bold and belig uh, beleaguered who sail on stormy seas. Below their sails, unveil the lost answers of the ever horizon. Gorb speed, dear believer, and so forth. I don't know, I just really like that. There's something really neat about that, and uh, I like the music. And I love this, uh, just like this, um, it really kind of establishes what this game is about. It's like big open sea, and you're just like in the middle of it. Reminds me of some of my favorite um, <laughs> media. But, um, we're not going to talk about that necessarily. It's um, we wouldn't want to have anime in this. Let's try. Hold on a second. We're gonna hold. Okay. So we are sleepy little. Uh, I think we're a bird. Birdo. Captain Toot. Ugh. Ouchie. That was a close one. So where the dirty duck am I? Are we a duck? What are we? We're just a happy person with a little mask. What's the mask for? I mean, like, how can you not immediately love this? Because, like, it's just, you know, this is going to be the kind of game that's probably more fun to play than to, to, to watch. But, like, this has just got, it's got the graphics where they, where they need to be. It just looks and feels like such a, a wholesome game, and I'm, I'm I'm here for it. I'm enjoying this. Let's say you go snatch up some juicy wooden planks, and we get right a uh, right rigged, rigged for high adventure. Let's hurry. This bucket's coming apart. Fish and chips. That's that is my my battle call. Okay, let's let's uh, move forward. Okay, now you can see the which way the wind is blowing, um, on the on your compass. I'm rich with these wooden planks now. Wait, what are these weird soggy papers? Blueprints or something? Again, we've got the wind in our favor and we got to go back and uh, get our, our ship looking proper. I don't know how I feel like, you know, I maybe I'd like to see character customization, but I got to say, I've also just pl done that enough. I often think a lot um, when I'm like spending more than even five minutes making a character is like, am I really going to spend any time playing like looking at this character does this character customization actually add to some level of immersion so you could go for a three cannons pointed forward or a more traditional um cannon pointed forward and, and some out on the aft i'm not sure I, my terminology is not not great um let's try azalea yar, yar. <laughs> right can't get shanties writ about our do doings without a proper name um, Biggs Bart. There's a callback to uh, my Subnautica stream that three people have seen. <laughs> that wooden crate up there was my cargo. Thought it sank when my t uh, when my tots got tattered. Too bad it's all locked up. A cowardly clam on a Krebs Day. Can you speak? What are you saying? How do we get the darn thing open? There we go. I mean, I, I, I gotta say, I love the, the look of this. It's almost got a, the look of a sock pop game, you know? Except this is a sock pop game with like a ton of ambition. Like just an absurd amount. Like I know this, this, this dev has been working on this for a long time and um, it really does show. It's got a lot of love in it. All right, we've heard of a skull clan fort here that contains valuable treasure. Uh, we can like put a marker on this map. I have very limited movement ability here. I can zoom out. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to what I'm me meant to make from that. What about, what is over there? Like, what is this patch of blue? This feels like it it should be something. 
Is it just like fish? I'm not sure. I love the vibes of this game, honestly. This is really cool. Well, uh, okay, we're fighting the, the water right now. Space talk, okay. Excuse us, dear sailors. Got a moment? May, my partner here forgot to remind me to pack our camera. My shame is eternal. Can you believe it? On a beautiful Flums day like this, I snuggle in an etern eternally itchy blanket of regret. Any chance you've got a camera on board? And I'll be here, standing in my shame. Time to absolutely destroy- No, we're okay. Uh, I'm wondering if I could destroy that um, crate, though. There's a crate there. There's also something, like, under the water. A crate. What do we get? Do we get anything cool? Can't tell. Can we, like, is it- Oh, we, so far I don't think there's actually any, like, getting out of the boat and moving on to, like, walking on an island. Not really sure. Um, do we even, like, have a quest right now? Fleet management. Yeah, that's right. You get a fleet in this game, which is kind of crazy. Um, is this a... Can we, like, blow up this clam for some pearls? I don't know if that is a clam. It kind of looks like a clam to me. Yeah. We can blow it up for some money. Okay. Trying desperately to move, but, um, the wind is just not with me right now. Turtle power. What do you mean, turtle power? What? I can't move right now. Our boat is damaged. We can repair it, player, uh, repair it in the fleet management. No, it's not the game. Apparently, I just cannot read. Click on repair. That costs us quite a bit of uh, wood. I like the animation. Oh, God. We still took some damage. Still trying desperately to get out of here. The wind moving against us to get to this place was kind of brutal, I gotta say. There we go. Managed to take them out. Skull Fort defeated. Uh, the smoke is like completely blocking. Okay, we get some wood. That's good. We gotta... I should um, repair our ship again. New location added to the world map. I don't know how I feel about this game having uh, fast travel so early because like I, I feel like part of the the appeal of like sailing the open seas is like it's part of that exploration is like you have to go to that next island and on your way maybe you'll find some interesting things I mean like to be fair I haven't tried just traveling there but I feel like it, it's undercut it a little bit dust out them doldrums ye guts for ears, gloves, man, it's not just me. This game has a very strange language. There's customers approaching. There, there be the only droll fish in your soul you need. I, 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 I am stroking out right now. This is absolutely destroying my brain. You fish him a fillet them, fillet, fillet them. Way to TikTok. You done a got tackle? Come with, with some hooks, gloves. What you say? <laughs> Wanna bomb some bait? I, I can't do it. Stop it. Stop. Just give me the fishing rod. Heavy with woe is me artisanal flow. Me mind ever drowning in creativity block. Perchance you, you can ye take some adventure in photos. I can if you just stop talking to me. That moose be loose again. Simmer down, ye old saucepan. You couldn't hear a seam whistle on a smatter day. You got the concept, I reckon. Look alive, ye ancient cheese doodles. I need you to stop saying things right now. Uh, talk to gloves. I don't want to talk to any of these people. Last thing, a four years shove off. See, we was palaverin' and this likely be... Uh, you, yeah, you're, you guys are, don't understand. I need to go now. So we can take pictures. I wonder, um, you know what would be kind of neat is if that picture was represented on the map somewhere. Because, like, um, something I, I, I really liked about um, uh, Zelda Hourglass, which is, I think, one of the more underappreciated Zelda games, is was the ability to change, like, you know, mark stuff on the map. And I think that that's true for um, Wind Waker as well. I, I think that mapping is a is a very fun mechanic. Is this like, okay, so this is our area map. 
Is this like the direction of the wind? I, I, there's a lot of things going on that I, I kind of don't understand. And I'm glad, you know, like it's it's fun. I, I like it. I like trying to figure these things out. Um, we could go fishing. I really want to try fishing. Okay, start fishing. A little fishing don't mind if I do. You know, uh, we have a joke on stream that if a game has a fishing mechanic, then it can't be all that bad. It's it's a good game if it's got a fishing mechanic. Oh, this is a novel one, actually. I haven't seen this fishing mini game like a thousand times. Got splash. There are no visible ears on either side of its head, which makes sense because it's a fish. Okay. You really got to kind of fight against the fish. And it feels pretty good, actually. Like it's it's a, a fairly novel mechanic. Their uniquely hot co coloration foretells of a spicy taste adventure that takes 24 to 48 hours to fully recover from some minor hallucinations and discomfort is to be expected. Let's talk about upgrades. Maybe this is going out of a business sale? Uh, I kind of want the harpoon. But it looks like I can make... Okay, rusted deck gun, deck gun. Let's make a... Let's get a couple of just normal deck guns. Those are really going to, to up your game. Um, sell some cargo items? The power of capitalism compels you. I think the way you, um, that bar, that, that red to green bar. Oh, I see. If you keep the, keep the line in the green, then you will be moving at maximum, uh, like optimal speed. That's a, that's some good conveyance there. I, I, I appreciate that. Um, it took me a little bit to figure it out, but I'm kind of glad that the game didn't just like tutorialize that in a way. Now we are moving exactly against the, uh, Wind. And I guess, okay, there's a colors around the, the compass as well. So that tells us like how, you know, we can move a lot faster if, if we were moving west or east. I want to check out this boat over here. Scuttle it for parts. Leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone because I might actually have enough uh, once I sell my fish. So I'm going to sell the fish. Oh, Rang Angler Wrangler Emporium welcomes ye. Fishies, photo films, and fancy paints this lovely pigmentation i think harumph can fancy paint your oh. let's paint with all of the colors of the deep blue marbles i i i cannot stand any all of us gonna pay you 50 per this i reckon how about those otter flounders you brung here so it looks like they get paint from these fish i see so we get we unlock new paint colors by handing in this fish as well as getting more wood. See, sail decal? So we can have different... Okay, let's try like this. And then, um, sail color? So I think these are the... This is the one of the ones I unlocked. And then, uh... What was the other one I unlocked? I can't even remember this one, maybe? I like this, I guess. This is nice. Grab that ship. We can adjust or trim our sails to better catch the wind. Try sh okay, so they did tutorialize it. That's the ticket. In general, when we're sailing downwind, we want our sails trimmed all the way out. When we're sailing upwind, we want our sails trimmed all the way in. Keep practicing and you'll get the hang of sailing. Okay. Well, as far as tutorials go, that's that's not bad. We I want to catch this fish. Time the fish. Oh, we got a thing. What is this? Ancient junk. Nice. So it looks like, I mean, first of all, my, my ship is damaged. Panache doesn't have any cannons yet. Auto repair threshold. Take command. Outfit. Boat. Outfit. And we want to, oh, this has much more um, potential cannon spots. Put a boat, uh, a cannon on there. Weight remaining 40, 50. So there's a weight limit as well. Okay. A lot of stuff going on in this game. All right. Let's see how uh, having two ships works. I don't know what happened to our other ship. I'm also not sure what's going on with this island. There's a um, treasure over there. We could go and we could go that way. So, uh, where's our other ship? They just kind of disappeared? What happened there? Oh, wow. There's like a whole kind of skirmish going on in the distance there. Oh, 
Oh yes, there are. We're going right into this mine. Ouch. We gotta do one more? I really shouldn't do this, should I? You know what? Um, let's uh, go to our other ship. I'm just gonna... Um, back. Where's the panache? Is it just dead? Uh, did it like it was it was it like hey there's a uh, actually a pirate ship and I actually watched it Attacking my ship, but I was like, oh, that's cool that there's something happening in the distance there But it was actually my ship getting completely destroyed. Is that is that what happened there? Because damn Okay, we're dead That was gonna happen. I'm pretty sure we lost we lost all of our ships there So what happens now? It just loads so let's try this again um, and uh, maybe with a bit more of a closer uh, paying a bit more attention to what's going on just a little bit information added to map okay so what I was supposed to do is look at the area map this is my fleet and then there is the uh, apparently pirate ship yeah there it is so there was a pirate ship and I just totally ignored it I'm trying really hard to hit it and I am missing every single shot. I don't even know if it's in my range. This is uh, what we might want to do. Well, this, now we're in the wind. There we go. That was, a, that was a good hit. I got two cannons and it seems to automatically use whichever cannon that I'm in range of. So that's kind of nice. The one thing I w wonder though is um, are there di separate cooldowns for each cannon? It seems like there is, yeah. Okay. The, the combat is really cool, I gotta say. It definitely, it has like enough realism that, you know, there's something to it. Um, it's obviously a little bit, uh, you know, friendly. You don't have to know how actual genuine combat or ship combat works but i think that knowing a bit more about how to direct your sails and how to like whoops we got a little bit of damage there how to like um you know cut into the wind um will give you a, a little bit of a leg up i'm gonna take one shot here to try and take these guys out Um, yeah, this sucks. I, I don't want to do this. I'll come back maybe when I have a bit more, like, maybe armor. I don't know if that's a thing or if I can build up my ships a bit. Or we could try and uh, do it with our panache. Let's try it with our panache. Although the panache is uh, the wrong... It's got the wrong side of... Um, for the cannon. Well, let's give it a go anyway. We'll do one, uh, one sail by... There we go. That was good too. Okay. Um, did my other ship just get destroyed? Something got destroyed. This is at 60. What about big board? Okay, big board's okay. Ooh, that was so close. I think that uh, it was showing me the health of the tower. There's a there's quite a few things in this game that I have to kind of parse out. But it looks like we destroyed all the towers there. Too bad I don't have a harpoon. Um, I do kind of wish there was an easy way to switch between ships. Maybe if I like hit, I'll, I'll try hitting like one or two. Sometimes that's just it. Let's sail out. Put sails in. Cycle fleet next. Okay, so you can. Um, yeah, it's the arrow keys, strangely enough. Easy it is. We got some wood. Looking for a boat. Okay, so we got an extra free hand. I just got this new boat and can't wait to show it off to my friends. You have time to snap a shot of the boat and I'm, tr uh, and I'm yours. And yours truly. Any angle you choose is good. I'm incredibly photogenic. It's a little bit of a pain that it, it stops your boat 
like some of these quests will like just stop your boat uh your boat dead and we got like a almost a pokemon snap thing going on here take this thing i had lying around you deserve it ancient junk okay i like that the it it, it goes a little bit slow-mo as you're sailing by because i definitely would not have the reaction time and then let's switch to our other boat oh nice they're they're also um doing some attacks we'll do some evasive maneuvers and then i'll switch back okay this is starting to feel good um having a fleet is actually pretty cool the fact that the the ai like automatically can we can we um actually you know what would be nice if we could switch the cannon really quickly let's like switch the cannon and then yeah okay a little bit weird that we can do that um but i don't mind i love how the waves are like swelling with the uh the weather i wonder if they um do anything for like we can like wow we can sail right up this thing oh this is some like pirates of the caribbean stuff right here i love it all right we um let's let's go to the next area bright coral beach yeah i'm really enjoying this this is really cool i uh you know i'm a little bit um i wouldn't say unsettled is the word but like i don't yet really understand uh the kind of disconnection between the world map and the area map like can i sail to these areas without like you know moving on the world map is it taking like real world like in-game time to sail to these steal your nerves buckle your barnacles and await me signal three two one get it going okay that's one down i think you want to like wait for them to aim properly for a moment like when it turns full red that means we're fully aimed i don't know if that's what you know I, i'm just trying to parse together things a little bit uh i'm not gonna make it there we go ding 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 you ding dang done it with an extended barrel and stable housing this gun is capable of hitting distant targets this one has been taken care of incredibly well i think that's gonna do it uh sail forth i i'm i'm really i really like this game uh this is definitely the, the kind of game i could see uh playing more of i do wonder if it would work well on the steam deck i i feel like i definitely i can definitely sense that this game would play better with a controller than it does with a mouse and keyboard but i could be wrong about that sometimes it, you know it's unexpected which games will work better with what um but we'll, I'll, I'll see for myself but either way um i like this game uh you let me know what you think about it uh sail forth if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy